Hello, Floss Tube. It's me, Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, coming to you for another weekly update. This is Floss Tube number 23, and today is Saturday, October the 19th. And I'm actually coming to you on a Saturday night, and I'll get to that in a little bit in life update. So how's everybody's week? Mine's been good. Mine was really good. I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. First, let me say, if you are a new subscriber here, I have jumped even since my last video where I am doing my 300 subscriber giveaway, I am now up to close to 350 subscribers. So that means I have 50 new friends here on YouTube. So welcome if you are brand new or if you're, you know, catching up and coming back from that number one video, which whew, we come a long way. <laughs> um, welcome. If you are returning, if you are one of my faithful, faithful floss tube friends who comes back week after week to watch me ramble and jamble and be myself, um, thank you. I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to sit and chat with you each week. Um, so, here's why I'm coming to you on a Saturday. <clears throat> and if I'm a little raspy, I think I'm plagued with some seasonal allergies made made worse by the fact that we traveled. Um, I live in North Texas. I My closest aunt to me, uh, my mom's youngest sister, who is um, 11 years younger than my mom and 10 years older than me, who I grew up very close with. She, in fact, was um, the one who taught me to cross stitch when I was 17, 22 years ago. Um, they live in uh, the hill country of Texas. Um, and their youngest child, who is um, my cousin, my first cousin, is a senior in high school. And this is her last homecoming. And so we, it's about a four hour drive. So we drove there, we left about noontime on Thursday got there about four something or somewhere around in there we had to stop quite a bit because with a seven and a half year old and my mom and me we each had our own needs and so we stopped a couple of times got in about 4 30 and then we kind of just hung out we had dinner that night chatted and then um friday we went and um, did a couple of errands. I visited a stitchy shop and I got a couple of things. Because, you know, when you're in a different city and you go to a different stitchy shop, you buy things. And so I bought a couple of things. Kind of a belated birthday because, like, I haven't bought enough birthday stuff for myself. A little belated birthday goodies for myself. Um, and then her two older brothers, one of which is my godson, they both came in to surprise her one goes to the University of Arkansas one goes to Texas A&M University and they both came in to surprise her she was on the court she was nominated for homecoming queen um, and so really enjoyed that time with family and then this morning woke up and my godson is a fantastic photographer he ended up taking pictures of her and I um, some for of her for our Christmas cards and some of her and I just to have some updated pictures of her and I and then a couple that I think may even end up being like maybe a new kind of headshot of me he did a fantastic job super fun and so we started about noontime today making the trek home and um, so yeah but traveling to a different part of Texas Texas is huge full of all the allergies um, you're allergic to like just the air itself. Um, I lived in Houston at one time and was allergic to totally different things down there. Um, and so I've got a bit of a raspiness in my voice. So I apologize. It's kind of makes me sound a little like, what's that actress's name? I can't remember, but she has this beautiful like raspy voice. Uh, whatever. Okay, so I have... Stitchy Kindness, Stack Up Tat, ugh, oh my stars, it's late, it's already like 8 o'clock, um, Stash Acquisitions, I have Whips, I have Plans, I had New Starts this week, I got some good stuff, I have some really good stuff to share. So first let me share my color street, I put this on on Monday, um, this is Portugal, which is 
the base uh, base colors berry and then I've got the rose gold overlay coming up rose gold I think is what that's called and I'm actually doing I'm like so excited because I think I earned some rewards I did a color street party for my birthday because the folks that I uh, my friend who does color street she was like hey I want to get you some color street for your birthday so how about we do a party and I was like, sure. And I thought, like, nobody's going to order. A couple of my friends ordered, some new folks ordered that wanted to try it out. And I was like, awesome. And so I think I earned, like, a set or two. And so what I'm going to actually do is use them to buy the smaller size, the petite size for my daughter. Um, so she'll stop sealing that. Oh, if you are um, joining me today, you will know this is my second video. I had a video I posted just a bit ago. It's about an 11-minute unboxing of the color and cotton harvest mystery box the full size box so if you are interested to see what what came in that my uh thumbnail is not should not be a spoiler i can't guarantee that if you don't hover over it it doesn't show something from in there so i apologize about that but i can't fix that that's that's youtube um but yeah if you're just interested in like maybe because the holiday box will be coming up soon like if you're thinking okay well what comes in it Go watch it, check it out. I did get a full size box. I know my my buddy Erin over at Two Martini Stitcher. She got the mini box and her uh she posted it yesterday because hashtag I was out of town. And so I saw her, I was like, oh, you got your box. I didn't get my box. Wee! Like first world first world problems. But it was kind of fun to, to come home today and like have a pile of mail on the counter. It all arrived. So I am not sharing all my stash with you because um, I haven't even opened it all. And um, I already showed you the mystery box and I've got a couple other things. Plus I had the stuff that already arrived earlier this week. Plus the stuff I got at the Stitchy Shop that was in San Antonio when I was there. So I think we're going to start with Stitchy Kindness. So um, I kind of in my last couple of videos have shared how much like I enjoyed starting that stitching on the 40 count, the 40 count linen. And so I've kind of fallen down a rabbit hole. The problem is I already had kind of a relatively large stash of fabric in 14, 16 and 18 count Ada. And so I am sending a good chunk of some of my 16 and 18. Now I'm keeping most of my 18, keeping a lot of my 16. But I'm sending a pretty large chunk to um, Michelle. Um, we are doing a bit of a little swap swappage. She had some linen she had purchased and was like, I'm not going to use this. So she's got a lot of like plain. And so I'm thinking, ooh, I have a lot of writ dye. I'm thinking I might dye some of it and see how that works. Because I've dyed Ada before, but I've never dyed linen. So that's kind of cool. And then another awesome floss tuber who I love watching, um, Jennifer Upton. She's amazing. She has stash for days. She is stash goals. She is um, finish goals. I mean, she's an insanely fast stitcher. And she gets, she, like, she's lucky enough to work. I think she says she works at a quilt shop. I'm like, hmm. A quilt or stitching shop. Or maybe both. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So she reached out to me in my last video and said, Hey, DM me on Instagram. Give me your address and I will send you some goodies, some linen to try. And I was like, what? Like, this is this community. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing to me that somebody is going to reach out and send me a priority mailer full of goodies. So first of all, when I get it, well, my j bracelet's jangling, but the package was jingling. I think I, this is not the right package. No wonder it's not jingling. Okay, wait. This one. Okay, now it's still not jingling. My bracelet is jingling. So it was jingling like this. It was like... It's a package that makes music. So first of all, how cute is this? She sent me halloween -y socks. Those are so cute. So fun. Then she, oh, and she also said, hey, have you stitched with silks? I was like, well, I have, but not all the silks. Like, I'd like to try some. And she was like, well, I'll send you some. And I was like, that's amazing. And she offered it. And I was like, of course. So I'm going to send her a little goodie package back. She probably does not, she said she doesn't have, I don't have to, but I'm going to. Because, you know, we're going to share the love, share the stitchy kindness. 
she sent me a House of Mang. This is what was jingling. It has a little kitty cat. It's this precious girl with two pigs on her head. So I think maybe this was from Year of the Pig. I don't know. And then it's got a little lucky cat. Let me pull it out here. It's a needle minder. Sorry, that's my dog. He's upstairs. My husband is home. My father-in-law is here. If you hear any hooping, shooting, shouting, it's because the Astros are playing and they are wanting to win. I'm like, whatever. I'm a Rangers fan and we have not done very well in the past few years. But I love him <coughs> and his love of the Astros. But he might shooby 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 shouting. Look how cute she is with her lucky cat. So I have to find the perfect project for this, for this needle minder. I have some House of Mang clays, but in order to save money, I didn't get them put on uh, magnets. And my magnets are not strong enough once you put them on the clay to hold a needle. So, okay, so then she sent me, and I'm so excited about this because I've been wanting, after watching Amanda May, Art of Designs, work, and Jennifer has also worked with the Sulky. She sent me some Sulky, and this is beautiful. And actually, there's a um, Carolyn Manning pattern that I'm really interested, intrigued by, um, that uses a Sulky pack. And so I am, con I'm thinking some of these look like those colors. So I'm going to go and investigate. And then she sent me some beautiful dinky dyes. Look at those. Plus, by the way, I haven't, I haven't seen these in forever. I didn't know they still made them. But like the portion pack, little um, snack bags. Hashtag dieter, you know, back on Weight Watchers days, I had my portion packs. I didn't know they still make them. Awesome. So I got some really pretty um, dinky dyes, which I, I, oh, and a hand dye by Rolanda. I didn't even see that. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. That is sharp. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I haven't done the hand dye by Rolanda silks. I've used her cottons. Oh, this is amazing. So anyway, I'm, I'm deviating. This is going to be long. This is going to be full-length feature film. Um, so, then she sent me fabrics. And I'm really pumped about these because she sent me different counts. She sent me one that I know for a fact because I've watched her video. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to be factual on this. I believe this is one she dyed herself. And look at how pretty this is. And I am not certain, but I believe this is an even weave. And I would say I'm not super familiar. I'm pretty familiar like I can eye my eight accounts. I'm not super familiar with what count this is, but I'm going to guess somewhere around a 28 or a 32. Isn't that beautiful? Like, girl, you need to be, you need to be putting these out somewhere. That's beautiful. And then I know she is BFFs with Rwanda at Hand Dye by Rwanda. Look at this one. This is a 28 count Alma, um, is the, I guess the colorway, or it's Alma fabric. I don't, I don't know. But look at how beautiful this is. It, you know what it reminds me of? It's like, like a pond, like with lily pads, or you know what these actually look kind of like? It's caladium plants. We used to have green and pink caladiums in our yard every spring, and that reminded me a little bit of caladiums, but isn't that beautiful? And wait, there's more. She sent me this Lemon Sparkle. This is a 32 count opalescent Lugana. I have never stitched on even weave. I might kind of love it. Oh, great, because I don't have enough, I don't have drawers to like any more fat counts of fabric. Look at that. Isn't that like sunshine on a piece of fabric? Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll put that back in the bag later. That's a silk weaver. Then she has one. This is um, a picture of this plus 28 Cashel, Cashel tell you what I know. In um, Flash. Look at that. That's like dreamsicle. That's amazing. Oh, I like the feel of this. It's got some good like stiffness to it. Although I will say one thing that I learned going to the stitchy shop I was at, I have griped and complained. I tried once to stitch on uh, Weeks Dye Works and it was that gingham because I thought it was so cute. But it is floppy. It had no rigidity. The minute I would put it in my Q-snap, it would go and like get all biased, pulled, and mm, mm So I was lamenting the fact that they have beautiful colors, but they're obnoxious to, to stitch on. If you love it, I, 
all the power to you. I could not get on board with it. She was like, well, now they're using his Weigert base. Well, okay, this might be a game changer too. And then she's, okay, so back to, oh, oh look, a chicken over there. Um, then she sent me two by, I've heard about Garibaldi's, Garibaldi's Needleworks. And these are two 28 count even weave um, fat eights. Look at this beautiful, it's called Lapis. That is gorgeous. I have heard that even weaves dye the most kind of like vibrant. Am I right? I think that's because of their cotton content. I don't know. And then I am obsessed with this color. This one like popped out to me. I have not seen a color like this. It's called Sweet Raisin and it is really not doing justice. I don't have my lighting up today. We're, I'm filming so late. I didn't know. And I've got to figure it out because I can't have that. I can't have... And see, I've got, I've got my, I've got creepy eyes if I look up at my own lighting. We're, we're, it is what it is today. It is what it is. We're going to be positive. It is what it is. So, Jennifer, you're amazing. You are a super generous human being who made this stitchy girl so happy to come home. And you have further included things that, now I got to have more. I got to have all the things, all the things. But my stash is not where yours is yet. Your stash goals. Stash goals. Okay, so where to go next? Shall I talk about what I worked on? I think I will. Okay. So this week I did tasks for both Magical Stitches as well. School of Magical Stitches and Literature. There were seven tasks with 200 stitches apiece. And then I did Enchanted Stitching, <coughs> which is a great, which is another fantastic group on Facebook. And they are based off of Disney. And so this month is Nightmare Before Christmas. And School of Magical Stitches. This is our second and final month of book six, which is the Half Blood Prince. So I have a lot of things I worked on. I'm not going to tell you what the specific tasks are because I have so much. And I'm going to try to kind of just show you what I worked on. Um, and maybe if I remember how much I put in each one. Um, I brought my notebook, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. This is going to be woo, hard and fast. So first, I put some additional stitches into my artist design piece. This was a new start last week, or the week before, I believe. And this is called Acorn Assortment, and this was an adaptation she did off of a um, 16th century tile design. And she includes this multicolor way as well as a different colorway as well that looks more like the original tile. This one has pumpkins. This one has pumpkins and acorns. So I am do I did a bit of a conversion on this. I've shared this previously. Um, and I am stitching this on a piece of Mystic Fabrics 18 Count Ada in Snert. This is my color palette. I'm not going to go into great detail, but I use some uh, Gentle Arts, Victoria Motto, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so I hit my I hit my move goal. I put like 200 and some odd stitches in this, but I did most of it because it had to be in purple. That was what I wanted. And so I did Gentle Arts Red Plum. But I'm going to tell you right now, this might be the most genius green I have ever seen genius green. This is Victorian Motto's Squash on the Vine. I think this might have been a club. Not a club, but it might have been a floss of the month. Oh, and my floss of the month came. I haven't even opened it yet. Next week, folks, next week. Um, but look at this. This color is insanely gorgeous. Look, it's got gold and green. Uh, and it's variegating so beautifully in this piece, and it's really going to make these leaves in the middle pop. I love this little heart detail and the kind of deco, art deco kind of nature of this. So I'm obsessed with this piece. I've kept it on my snoot, q, my skew snap, my q snap, because I'm going to put more in it. They're ramping up up there. I can hear them. That was not them. That was a motorcycle. Go ass girls. Go ass girls. Okay, let's toss that over there. All right, so then what I work on. Oh, I had a start. On the 14th, I started my remembrance piece for my great-grandmother Nan. Um, this is a great pattern by Darling Whimsy Designs, and I will link all of this in the description box below. 
and 50% of the proceeds will benefit um, Michelle Bendy Stitchies, Michelle Garrett of Michelle Bendy Stitchy, her chosen charity this month, which is um, Alzheimer's. And so this is called Forget Me Not, and it says, Forget Me Not, My Dear, My Darling. And so I got a start on this, not much, but it's about a start. I'm stitching this in the called for DMCs. Um, it calls for Gentle Arts or DMC, and it's only three colors. Um, 3753, 738, and 930, except I think I swapped out 3753 for 169, so it's more gray. And I found this piece in my collection, my collection of Mystic Fabrics. I'm obsessed with this. I've been looking for just the right project for this like blush pink, and is that not amazing? That is an amazing piece. This is an 18 count. This was one that she did in her fabric games one week. So I have Dear. Deer in a comma. So I have a bit of a start. Um, this one is one that's just going to come in as, as I feel the need or want to work on it. I am going to be moving this one into a different project bag um, because I have um, cleared out some of my pouches and some of my cloth bags. And so some of my projects are going to get to move out of their plastic bags. All right, so then I put some, one of our tasks had to do with a human house. So I pulled out a piece that was a new start this month. It's Annie B's Folk Art. This is Count Your Blessings. And of course it has this precious house. Uh, it might be this bunny's house. But I also think these bunnies might be kind of like encroaching. These clothed bunnies might be encroaching on this human's house. I don't know. It might be the tiniest human ever because these birds are gigantic. The birds are almost as big as the bunnies. I kind of am obsessed with like the whimsical nature of this. That, like you've got bunnies popping out of the ground that look like human bunnies like dress like bunnies but then you've got like regular bunnies then you've got like bunnies and easter baskets and then you've got bluebirds obsessed with all things bluebirds and then you've got like jackrabbits running through the letters and then you've got like this border that looks like strawberries like this is like amazing plus like the designer annie annie i gotta love it i gotta love it so i did a color conversion on this one to all color and cotton Based on the call for us, I went on, found some that look, thought looked good. So I got a fairly good head start on this house. So this is stitched up. It's like checkerboard kind of. And this is uh, Kings. I love this blue, by the way. It is, not that I could remember. Knights, like Kings light blue. And then bare copper is what the house is stitching up in. And this is on a piece of, this is Mystic. I know that. And I believe this is just a piece that was from her weekly. That or it's Veteris. I'm not sure. But isn't it beautiful? And I've got this on my 8x11. I haven't pulled it off because I might put some more in. I'm not sure. It's probably going to come off though. I think it might. Um, I'm not sure. But I love that my eight that my 8x11 fits so nicely in these bags. Love it. All right, we're trucking right along here, folks. All right, so then I put in, there was something about a fruit gift, a fruit that's a gift, and then something else, I don't know. So I thought, you know what? I'd give somebody a pomegranate. So I put in some stitches into my Al Forest embroidery. This is Pomegranate Quaker. I am obsessed with this piece. I am stitching it in all the Al Forest called fours. So there are one, two, there's only five colors. You get two, two um, groupings of, of some of them. Like this one has a bunch of called for in the pattern. This I think I'm currently stitching in, this one. And then you've got kind of an orangey red, a corally pink, and this dark one. Nope, just lied. This is the one I'm currently stitching in. And I am working in the center. So I'm working on this badass mama. Bad old pomegranate. I'm sorry. You can know when I'm getting tired when words slip out of my mouth that, like, I don't even say that. What is wrong? Let's rewind. I am working on this big old pomegranate in the middle. So, 
Oh yeah, I totally do. Okay, so this is on a piece, and I'm going to order some more of this because it is so incredible. This is a piece of Mystic Fabrics. This is one that's available on her website because it is a named fabric. This was a fabric of the month, and I am in any Ada, which means I could I could receive anywhere from a 14 to a 20 count opal or not. And so this month, it was the any Ada got 14 count opal, which is gorgeous, but 14 count whatever. But then now that I've started stitching on this, I don't care. This is going to be epic, and this is going to end up being like a Christmas stitch because look at this. Okay, first of all, look at this entire piece of fabric. Shut the front door. This is amazing. And I totally goofed somewhere on this palm green. It is not the way it's supposed to look, but I don't care. I love it. I've told y'all before about how the Amish, they put, they put mistakes in on purpose because they believe that only God is perfect. Look at that. I love how this is variegating up and I love how this red is just popping against the screen. Insane. I think I'm going to probably, this one will get turned into a pillow that comes out at Christmas time. I think that's what I'm going to do because it's going to be a pretty large piece and then I'll find a really, I'm thinking what could be really pretty is to do like this garnet colored velvet around and then do like a velvet ruffle or something. That might be a pretty awesome finish. We'll see. I've got a while to go on this, obviously. So, um, okay, so then there was something about something that flies. I don't know. So, of course, one of my favorite flying projects, HL's Moth by Kathy Dirk, lives in my Magical Moth pouch. This is, I am still hashtagging this to the Magical Moth Sal because while others have long since finished, I am still plugging away. Adding colors as I go. And this is on a piece of 18 Count Veteris by Mystic Fabrics. We're catching a theme this week of Mystic Fabrics. It's just on a lot of Mystics. Because they're just insane. Insane. So good they're insane. So look at this. It's coming along. It's getting there. I've added in some of the darker brown. Another shade of pink. I mean, this thing is incredible. This is a charting virtuoso charting virtuoso is insane it's it's so good it is so good if you do not have this chart and I know some people are just now excuse me jumping on to grab it do I have so many other amazing Kathy Barracks too in my collection that I cannot wait to stitch on because of how much I have enjoyed this one and I love that I'm doing the color completion I, I have another one of these planned, but I will probably wait to do that one until after I've done. I have one Kathy Barrick that's coming. And I think if this video cuts me off, I'm going to go grab it because it's one of my planned starts. But it, well, no, it's not planned to later, but it's going to include some Mrs. Sadoff silk. Nope, I'm not going to show it because I don't have the silks for it. But it's one that I really want to stitch up. That there's a story behind. I think it's like Floss Tube 4 or 5 where basically Kathy Barrett becomes my best friend. Truth. She is. In my mind. Um, I've talked about how I have this squad. That like I'm not worthy to be part of the squad that I'm creating. Like truly. But I can, I can aspire to. I can aspire to all these amazing, amazing folks. Um... I just lost my train of thought. Okay, let's go back to whips. See you. And another start on Wednesday. This is, I am starting this for my mama. Um, I give her a Christmas, or I give her something every Christmas. And so I am starting over the next few years. I will be giving her two ornaments a year from the Plum Street Noah's Christmas Ark. But I am starting this year with the crocodiles. I'm going to call them alligators because my daughter still at the age of seven is obsessed with alligators and has been since she was like two, which I think is freaking awesome. Um, but I am starting with, this is a freebie on their website, on the Plum Street website. This is the Noah's welcome mat and it says, welcome, please wipe hooves, paws, and feet. Um, and I am stitching this and I think I shared my other fabrics. So I am stitching this on a piece of 36 count R&R. &R, in Stars Hollow Blend, I think is what it's called. 
And so I have, and this is living in a Be Crafty bag pouch. I sent her this fabric and she made this. And this was housing Advent animals, but since I abandoned those, I thought it could be my home because I've cut all my pieces. I am actually stitching this one in hand until I can find my six by six Q-snap. I have my, my one of my six by six, but one of the things snapped. I don't know where my other one is, um, but I cut these to the, to the size with the three inches on each side or something like that. And um, they don't fit in my eight by six. So I gotta find my six by six. So I put in about 50 stitches and I have pleas. And I think it's so cute. I am really enjoying stitching on this R&R. &R. The R&R &R is the same as the autumn, autumn drum. And so I'm really enjoying that. So I've gotta get some more on that because I have that one and the crocodiles to do before Christmas with finishes. We'll see. They might get given, not completely finished. We'll see. Because I'm thinking, I need to look at something real quick. One moment, please. I'm thinking about, see, I've not done a finish like this. I need a tutorial. Because what kind of finish is this? It's not a pillow. And it looks puffier than a flat finish. Hmm, I'm not sure. And I guess I need to be finding some like chenille or something to go around the edge because from what I can tell, that's kind of like a, I don't know. Help, help, I need somebody, help. Okay, so then there was one about a cursed project. Well, what's funny is about this, this is a bit ironic because I picked to do as my cursed project, my per project that is cursed, but then I decided midweek, I didn't even want to stitch on it. It's clearly cursed. Um, and it's Emerald City Sal. I'm not abandoning it. I just need a break from it because you know, I stitched it all. And then I came back to it on a new piece of fabric. So I don't know. I'm contemplating, not abandoning it, but changing up. Maybe doing ornaments out of the main characters. We'll see. I'm not sure about that yet. So anyway, I picked another project and I wove a story about it being cursed because I've only worked on it once since I started it. I let my daughter help me pick stuff, which kind of was a whirlwind because, you know, she likes everything pink. Pink and sparkle, pink and sparkle. Well, we got to have some color variations. This is a project for her. This is... Um, Letters from Nora by Nora Corbett. This is the V Fairy. This is a beautiful project, but I have done some color converting to it. Uh, and this is on a piece of... Maybe this is Misty. No, I think it is. I think it's a piece of her opalescent Ada. 18 count. I have done the, dr the big raindrop. I've done a big raindrop with a smiley face. That is actually what that looks like, and I'm obsessed now. Um, can I just be done? Here, here's your bee fairy raindrop cutesiness. Um, so this is clearly the dress. This is the skinniest angel, skinniest fairy. She's a fairy, not an angel. Skinniest fairy. Actually, she will have some more filling out. I have not determined if I'm going to actually do the beading. We'll see, that would be my first beading. Or if I'm going to, um, just do that in metallics. I haven't decided that yet. I'm a ways away from that. I will be doing the stitching, then the back stitching, then the beading slash metallics. So we'll see. This is in a bag by somebody on Instagram. I don't know, but she liked it. It has bunnies on it. It was one in my stash. I had kind of put it to the side because it arrived with a hole in it, which I can totally fix, but it's working, so. It's super cute. It's got a little fob. I got this off of Instagram from somebody. I don't remember. Sorry. All right, so then in my diddly daddle bag um, with the cute little mackerel, um, I have the project. The. The one, the only. Hashtag hoity toity. Silky Sal. 
This is Long Dog Sampler's Hoity Toity. I am affectionately have dubbed it hashtag Hoity Toity Silky Sow. I am stitching this all in the impeccable Mrs. Sados. There is a video. Mrs. Sados silks. I need to put these into floss aways. I what I did um, is I went through. They come twisted and they're um, one continuous long piece. I took them and measured them into lengths. Like approximately, I have relatively long arms. I didn't do 36 inch pieces, I did about 24 inch pieces. So now all I have to do, and then I tied them in the same way the Victorian mottos are. And so I just pull from the loop and it'll pull out my one. And then on the ones where I'm working through a color, you'll see, I'm trying to see if I have any of them. Oh, I, I put my extra next to it. So here's my little extra length. Um, I did, contact Raquel yesterday because when I started to look at the pattern the original gentle arts I believe is what it's called for um called for tropical ocean for the C symbol and then the L symbol with banker's gray um and so when I looked at these these were the opposite this was the one that was Banker's Gray. This one was Tropical Ocean. I asked her, was there an inversion? And she said, no, I did them that way. And I said, well, is it okay with you if I swap them? So I have swapped the C and the Chunky L. It's the Chunky L, like the Block L. I have swapped these two. And the reason why I did that is, is that the C, um, where I am stitching, has like some vines and a tree and some what looks like grass. And so I, because I am starting up here. So I am working through this corner right here and this tree. And um, so that looked green to me. She said, totally do what you feel like you need to do. I said, are you sure? Because like as an artist, I don't want you to like be upset with me because I love your product and I want us to still be BFFs. And so I don't want you to be upset that I don't think you're amazing. I do. To me, I just didn't like wanting that green to pop on the black. So I went ahead and swapped it. So that's an option to you, or you can, those of you that have ordered, or you can stitch it as Raquel has done it, which is going to be amazing as well. And I know Debbie over at uh, Creatively Yours um, is also stitching this and has started. And I think she is probably not switch, switching the green. So I am, I had this for two tasks in Magical Stitches and I still have probably about 30 stitches left to finish before tomorrow night. And I will, I'm not worried about it. Um, and considering we traveled and I drove eight hours over th a three day period, um, I feel pretty good about that. I had some downtime throughout our weekend where I pulled this out and put a few stitches in. This is stitching up so beautifully. And like when I'm posting pictures on Instagram, I am not putting a filter on it. The the flosses are literally that shiny. They are that popping off the off the page, so to speak. So look at this. <sighs> like I haven't started filling in the black because I think I don't know if this is just me, but for some reason, when I stitch black first and then I go to pull my colors through, it will sometimes pull that black through. And I don't know if it's because I prefer plumpy stitches and so I used you know, two strands over 18. I know some people do 18 with only one strand. I like it with two and I, that's my personal preference. So what I have kind of decided to do is to get to kind of like a stopping point here and a stopping point like here. I think I have one little vine out here and then stitch the black up to that equal point and then continue on doing colors and things like that. The reason why I chose to go ahead and get this tree motif going and this precious grass I love this it's like a scallop grass um is because i had already i was already doing this green and when i was counting stitches i was like you know what i'm gonna pop over here and start this green tree gives me another anchoring point um i am using my little peels um to hold my flosses i am doing a parking of sorts um i'm kind of bouncing back and forth and i know i'm gonna pick up this green again so i'm just leaving it here for now this one i was stitching up here and i pulled it down here and so I just left it again. Um, I'm loving how this is turning out. This one's not completely, I have like one more color in here. I have this to stitch, the other half of this leaf, and then a tiny piece of vine here. 
and then um, I'm done with my homework and then I'm hopeful to get some of this black going over the weekend. I am excited to see these colors pop with the black and that's why I chose this green because I was so concerned that this beautiful gray, let me find it, that this beautiful kind of like gray brown was maybe going to get a little lost. I don't think it would because it's actually reading more purple against the black. So I think it's going to be beautiful either way. I showed this to my mom. She's like, oh, that's beautiful. And then I showed her how it was all black in the background. She's like, oh, that's no, I can't. Like, it's just too much for her. She's like, I can't imagine that. No, uh-uh. No. And I was like, it's okay, mama. It's okay. And so this is in my diddly daddle, my first diddly daddle, not my last. In fact, I have another one that came as stash and it already got put into action. Um, love, love these bags. Love, 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 love. And it will squeezingly, because I've got the peels on there, and I've got bungee fabric, but it easily fits my 8x11 eight, eight Q-snap, and I love it. And it fits all my flosses, which need to go into floss aways, which is happening tomorrow. But I didn't have time before I went out of town, and I wanted to get this started, and I wanted to get all the stitching in. You know, sometimes I prefer to just wing it. All right, we got one more whip, and then we're gonna move on to some other things. So this is in a new, new to me this week, diddly daddle bag. I love that when I get on and buy one, they're ready to ship. I have three project bags that I'm so excited to get. Two of them just shipped, but one, I'm like, I need it, I need it. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's artisan work, so I need to just touch my mouth and deal with it. But you know, it's like, we're, we're in an Amazon era where we expect instant gratification. We don't get it, and that's okay. So this one is adorable. Look at these precious little black birds. And it's got the black and white polka dot. The bird is fussy cut. And they're two different little birds. So cute, and then the back is all birds. Um, I'm kind of loving this style of back, or something like it. And then inside, she's got her precious tag, and then this is a coordinating orange and black dot. So this is Erin. It started. Yay! Hashtag play Jax Sal. Is that right? I think so. Something like that. I'll go search it before I put it in the in the hashtagies down there. The hashtagies. Um, and so I am doing Playing with Jax by the Cricut Collection. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I am, however, replacing this center pumpkin. I'm not a Halloween gal. This is about as Halloween as it gets for me. Mm -mm. So, like, that jack o -lantern, he's precious, but not my jam. So, I am going with, I, I um, am doing the Harvest Pumpkin. And this is the called for Silken Colors. And I, like Erin, could not find it. Plus, I really liked what she had. So, I'm using Autumn Foliage for mine. I am also using the called for DMCs. Um, so I have my whole little pack of DMCs and then this gorgeous, let me show you, let me show you cause this should be beautiful. Gorgeous silken colors. This is, um, yeah, autumn foliage. And I got this from, um, where did I get this? I don't remember. And I am stitching this on Erin's called for fabric, <laughs> which is a 32 count picture this plus in Valor. And I have a bit of a leaf. And I am obsessed. That leaf is jamming. Jamming, jamming, jamming. So I'm loving this. I, pictures plus, thumbs up on the linen. Thumbs up. This is a beautiful piece. Look at that popping on there. I cannot wait to get a little bit more in this. So this is on my agenda for this weekend. Um, I think... Well, before I start, hmm, I don't know where the bag for this is. Let me add it to the disastrous pile over there. That is my bed. So I'm going to have to move it to sleep. No, we'll see. Scooch, 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 scooch. Um, let me look at my, my little calendar here. So, playing with Jax swapped in for Barbara Anna's Strawberry Time. Sorry. That can come later. I wanted to start that like I'm pumped about it so tomorrow I actually have another new start because you know I'm crazy like that um I think I ended up with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 
14. I'm at 14 new starts. So I only have, <laughs> I only have four left. Um, I have Echoing Evergreen starts tomorrow. And then I have Autumn Sampler Band also this week. I have Harvest Delivery starts this week. I'm super pumped about that one too. I'm using the Victorian Motto set. I don't know if she still has those. So that's coming this week. And then Rosetta. If you remember, Rosetta was going to be the birthday start. Mm -mm. It got bumped. It got bumped by Hoity Toity. But I am starting it. And it is my start on the 26th. I will then get three days on Rosetta. And then I'm going to bump back and have three days with Hoity Toity. Here's the deal. With that many starts, I am trying to plan them around homework. The thing is, I can't really plan the ones later in the week. I try to have my homework done so I can move on to other things. Here's the other thing. I got to get the next, like part four of Miss Cottontail done this week if I want to continue to say I'm on top of it. Then Tempting Tangles announces they're doing another sale that like is called something about God in the garden. Why? I don't need another sal to try to stay on top of. I'm having a hard enough time because this week I didn't work on it at all. And the next part will come out Thursday or Friday or something and then I'm gonna feel like Ooh. So yeah, I'm, I'm hashtag struggling, hashtag struggling. Um, so that's gotta come out. So I may try to fit that into some homework this week. You know what? Our homework may just... Shh. Close your ears if you are going to be upset about this. Homework may just have to go to the wayside. Um, I may have to just stitch on what I want to stitch on. Sometimes, You know, I haven't really done that since I started Magical Stitches... <laughs> Magical Stitches back in February. I have completed every homework task since then. With the exception of, like, I think there was one that, like, I didn't have... It was the Swamp. I had nothing for the swamp, so I just was like, no. I think that literally was the only task, like, throughout the whole thing. No, there was one other one. Cauldron. Something with a... No! Gravestone. Tombstone, gravestone. I didn't have one of those. Okay, so, since February, I've only not completed two tasks. Completionist. It gonna hurt my heart to not do them. But it's possible that it, when homework gets released... I think it's released tonight, so I can look and see. And I like to have it planned before my week starts. It might be possible that I could fit it fit in. It's usually about 400 stitches is how much. So if it's two tasks, maybe. Maybe Miss Cottontail could be homework. Yeah. And then I could maybe... That was... I'm sorry. That was a little like... Yeah. Anyway. Maybe I could get playing with Jax. Because we're kind of getting close to Halloween. So maybe we can have some like intermingling of holiday with magical stitchiness well and we've got nightmare before christmas Ooh, maybe playing with jack's work okay i could go on and on and on and on and on so we got all that now so we've talked whips plans stitchy kindness let's talk stash and this is not all my stash i'm only showing a portion of my stash because truly i've got some i haven't like i said i haven't even opened okay so when i ordered something from one two three stitch i ordered also oh the silken colors i ordered the silken colors and i was like okay well i don't know if I, that's for sure the one i want to do and i saw this thread works and so i i ordered it too Look at how beautiful that is. So I ended up picking the silken colors because I was like, one, they're very similar. And this could be fantastic for a project that requires more. Um, because if you did not know this, Threadworks has 20 yards. So they roll like Nancy over Victorian Motto, giving you all the floss. So I got that. I am obsessed. Love it. And then I also got this. But let me tell you, the picture on the website did not look like this. And then I saw it at the LNS I went to, and I was like, well, that looks like the one that I thought I was ordering, which was more like a gold and orange, and there was a little touch of like a burnt orange. Oh, no. This is autumn leaves. I got early autumn. I got mostly gold with the tiniest scotch of an orange leaf. This is like Texas autumn leaves. Basically, they turn yellow and then they fall off the tree because they're dead. 
we maybe get one day of orange and gold, orange and red. Like that's on my bucket list to go to New England to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I ended up ordering fabric for the Forget Me Not. And then I picked something for my stash. <laughs> Forgetting I had ordered pick fabric. And I cut it. So like that's getting used because it got cut for that specific piece. Pacific specific piece and so I had ordered some pictures plus this is an 18 count sterling Ada in an 8 by 12 piece so it's just going in my stash I love this piece I love I love everything pictures plus just wait pictures plus making a big time comeback I got all my misty but then we added a lot of pictures plus this week and then I got this one fog so just two good neutrals. One's a little more like cream. This one's a little more green blue, green blue gray. Beautiful. Just eight by twelve pieces. Their pricing is fantastic on one two three stitch for these. Um, pretty super quick shipping. Yep. So, and I think this came with my pattern for harvest delivery. Yeah, I think this came with that. I don't know. I maybe showed that, so that's possible that didn't happen that way. I don't know. Okay, so then I was on the Instagram and and Hands On Design posted that they had some of their um, what do they call them? They were like kit pieces. Kit patterns that they had created for an event or something or for a, I think this was from Galleria. I think it was something they had at Galleria and they had extras, but it was while supplies last and they were not going to put them out again. And so, um, can't travel alone. So I found some other things. Mind you, <clears throat> most of hands-on designs, older patterns are available through their website, through their online shop. A lot of their newer ones are not. So I ordered one they have, and I think they have a bunch of these. I had been jonesing after one of their candle pans. Well, they have some that they are calling their scratch and dent candle pans. And they just have a little roughing up around the edges, as you can see, which I think it gives it character. These are like half the price or close to half the price. Super cute. Can't wait to find a finish for this. So I ended up grabbing two of them. Because no candle pan should travel alone. Two candle pans. So I got those two. And then I ordered a slew of charts. And I got two freebies too. I got one. This kind of goes along with Scary Apothecary. And so it's called Scary Favorite Brew. Which is cute. It has like a potion bottle and stuff. And then I have one that's a Happy St. Patty's Day. Super cute. And I think this one's cute. It's um, Farm Fresh. It's eggs. So cute. I have a friend that has chickens that do eggs, so I think I might stitch that up. I thought that'd be cute. Okay, so one of the ones, this was the one that was the kit one. And this is a Reflect Upon Your Present Blessings, which I think is adorable. And it comes with the finishing fabric and these teeny tiny little um, buttons. And these are just another button company, hand-dyed buttons. They're at the bottom and the top of the pattern. So this one, I think, might be out of stock. This was one of, one, of the, one, of the, one of the ones. This one was one they did with a, in collaboration with somebody. But I love this and I think I'm going to stitch it for my friend who loves the proverb of the mustard seed. And so this is the smallest seed rooted firm grows to shelter all. And so I love that because that's what the mustard seed does. It grows from the tiniest, I mean tiniest, tiniest seed into the greatest tree. I saw this on Instagram and so this combined with that... Um, somebody had said, well, where do I find that pattern? And they are like, we're, it's on our website because some of our older ones are on there. I was like, well, if I'm ordering that stuff, I'll order this too. So this is Gather a Harvest. Um, hello, it's got squirrels and acorns. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get out of my squirrels and acorns phase. Hopefully never because I'm going to have an insane amount. So you've either got the option of the sampler that says Gather a Harvest with great measure, all seeds and long have great leisure. 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 Or you can do the door hanger that that says, gather harvest with great measure. So I don't know. I think I love this one, but I also think I love this one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. These are, no supplies have been purchased. Okay, so going on with the squirrel theme. Adorable. 
We've got the, uh, this is the um, gather, gra gather, squirrel around. Um, so yeah, I love this. And they actually give you the information on where to buy the horn book. Um, and then also the buttons are just another button company. Um, and I've got some of those for some other projects. So I'm kind of waiting to order a whole big slot, slew of them, slew of them. Okay, so then this one I found, give thanks for this day. I love this. Um, I have got to find this fabric, which is a hand dye by Stephanie. It's called Jack's Rum, because I will stitch this completely as called for, because I love it with the white pumpkins. And then I saw these. Oh, no, wait, let me show you this one next. So then I had, then, you know, with the slew of white pumpkins. Then we have Hey There Pumpkin. Love it. This one is actually on Jack's Rum as well, so I might be able to buy one piece and get both those out of it, because I will stitch that as called for. Because, hello, white pumpkin with turquoise, uh, hashtag love all things turquoise, and the Ohio stars in the middle. Yes, all the things. So then I got two of these chalk designs. I know they have them for all the months. These are the only two that I plan on doing. Um, so they're the year in chalk, and this one is thankful and grateful. And I love the, again, the little acorn sprouting, obsessed, so cute. I love that it's stitched like literally in like two flosses, maybe. Yeah. And then same, nope, not same cute. This one is chalk. This is chalk and ginger snap. And then you need chalk and schoolhouse red for peace on earth. And I love that it has joy, 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 joy filled stitcher. All the things with joy. So I got those. That was a birthday giddy bag for myself. Came super fast. Super impressed. I love those little candle pans. Obsessed. Okay, so then. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I was, like, I've been wanting, and I think I'm going to say this correctly, a Garonne, Garonne Totten bag um, after I have seen Aaron. I mean, I Aaron and I should be like friends. We live too far away. Like, we should be friends. Um, because we like all the same things. Um, she had been showing some of hers, and I was like, yes, please. And they looked so amazing. And so he um, had posted that he was going to be having some bags go live. It's the day before my birthday, actually. And that he was going to have a Downton Abbey bag. And I was like, wait a minute, what? What is a Downton Abbey bag? First of all, for somebody who loves Downton Abbey, I had no clue that there was Downton Abbey fabric. And so many. So now I've fallen down the hole of all the Downton Abbey fabrics and I need them all. And my husband actually encouraging me to buy them if I find them. So I was like, refresh, 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 refresh. And he said, okay, we're going to be about another hour. I was like, oh, okay. Refresh, refresh, refresh. We were in Home Depot buying a ceiling fan um, for my craft room because my other one went, ee, ee, ee. You could not be in there. And then it was it was too hot if the fan wasn't on. Awesome Hunter fan. And a Garonne bag. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. And like, so it's funny because when I pulled it out, this is what I saw. I'm like, oh, they're upside down. And then I went, oh, but they have to be in order for this one to be like perfectly placed on the flat. And then there's even one here and then a crown right in the middle and it's the polka dots and it's amazing. And you open it up and you have this beautiful tapestry that looks like it was in one of the rooms, like the library. I think this was like the, the small library fabric wallpaper. Anyway, so I have not had a chance to place the project in this, but you, my Downton Abbey is going to go in here. And I love that it even has a little tag with where you can put your, your um, project and the designer and your fab or your start date so yay i have my first bag i'm so excited i'm kind of falling down a project bag hole i got three on the way from a so much to love um i have a bitsy bob on the way <laughs> i'm so excited my bitsy bob's gonna be for with uh for playing with jacks um i also possibly just signed up for the uh slovak farm bag of the month three months of that starting next month because they do the envelope style as well. So I'm excited about that. And I need to stay off of Etsy because I seem to be able to claim all the diddly daddles that I want. 
and I don't need to because share the love. They're amazing. They're amazing. If you don't have one, go get one. Okay. So then to go and I posted about this on my Instagram. So my aunt who taught me to stitch, I asked her when we got there, I said, Hey, do you still have your cross stitch stuff or any of your cross stitch stuff? She's like, yeah, I think I have some of the stuff in my craft room. I said, cool. Like one, you know, when I'm here at one point, can I look through them and see if there's anything that like catches my eye that I could stitch like on loan and then I'll give it back to you. And she's like, yeah, but more than likely you just have it. So I found some good stuff folks. So I did post about this. Um, so I'm excited about some of these. So I got a station. This is a Stacy Stacy Nash primitive and this is pins, needles, and scissors. And I love these. They look a little prim and so cute and here's a picture of the scissors so I love that and she's like I'm never gonna stitch it you can just have it thank you I am so excited about this one um because this reminds me of that same friend who also loves the pair or a different friend actually from church who loves the parable of um the good shepherd and so I love this this is a um Chessie and me and this is Hillside Sheep Needle Book. And look at how precious the scene is of the sheep and the ram and the um, beehive. Well, no, it's not that. It's called a skep, I think. And I love this alphabet over here. And this would be fun to just have on hand for a fun alphabet one time. And it turns into this precious needle book with the cute little lambs. So I'm excited about that. See, these some of these, though, are some fancy finishes. Okay, so... I'm not going to save the best for last. Then we got a Prairie Schooler Santa. What? A 1994 Prairie Schooler Santa. And I love him. I'm not a huge fan of all the Prairie School Santas, but I love him because he is like the wood, the like funky, like flower child, kind of. Like, I love his black blackbirds and his birdhouse and his sunflower. Like, he's a cool Santa. So I'm excited about that. And she said, keep it. I won't stitch it. By the way, a dollar. A dollar. You can't find these for less than like a bajillion dollars now. Okay, maybe not that much, but pretty close. Then this was a Cinnamon Hearts Needleworks, which I'm not familiar with this, but the typeset of like some of the, and the way this set up reminds me a little bit of Cricut Collection. So I don't know if that's like a, a thing or what. But I thought this one, this is um, autumnal pumpkins, but look at this one right here. I love that, and it has a beehive and a cute star pumpkin. I love that. Then it's got another two little pumpkin ones, but this one I love. So she gave me that one. By the way, she gave me all these. And she had a Blackbird Design quilting book that had two cross-stitch patterns in it, and she let me make working copies out of it. Because she didn't want me to take the book because she has a quilt in there she wants to make. And I said, that's totally fine. I will make working copies. We're good. Okay, so then... This was $5. Prairie Schooler St. Nicholas. She's actually stitched all of these. She said when her and her husband got married in 93, or around about 93... Ornaments were too expensive to buy, the kind she wanted to buy. So guess what she did? She stitched Santas. So she stitched all these Santas for their trees, and they still have them, which I think is so cool. Um, and so, yeah, some more Prairie School of Santas. And then this is a Homespun Elegance, and this is Bird and Blossoms Pincushion. And I think this is a precious little finish. Look at how cute that is. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then here's another Cinnamon Heart Needlework. Um, and I asked her because a lot of these came from Stitching House in Ohio. And I'm like, when did you go to Ohio to buy these? She's like, I don't think I did. I think I probably got them online or something. She goes, I don't know how I would have gotten these, but I didn't go to Ohio. And I was like, okay. I think the closest they ever lived was Missouri. And I don't think Missouri is close, that close to Ohio. Anyway, whatever. She actually already stitched these as well. So this is basically, she told me I could have all of these. But these, this is Cinnamon Hearts. This is another one. Um, Pine Needle Christmas. Look at how adorable these are. I'm loving these. Like, hello, that one. Look at these little houses. This one. Oi. 
So let's just add some more things that I'm going to need to stitch. What is it called? Stash beyond life expectancy? I have a stale stash because it's stash, no, stash acquired beyond a stable. Something like that. I still got more to show. Okay, so my aunt, amazing. Free stash, amazing, 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 amazing. So I have two more things to show. So, Crazy Annie's, not me, the other Crazy Annie, um, had a picture of this plus clearance sale on October the 5th. Let me just say this. If you did not get a chance to participate, next time they do it, do it. Because if you purchased, every kit of fabric that was listed was 25% off when they invoiced you. If you purchased six or more pieces, it was 30% off. And they would combine if you found, like, because they added some, I think, like a little bit later on. They combined two orders for me because I kind of like scrambled to find some. And then when I went back later on or added some different counts or something, I can't really remember what the case may be. They combined to my shipping and they gave me the 30% on the two additional cuts because I'd ordered six already. And it was only like two days later. Um, so, needless to say, I got six cuts because, you know, I'm going to maximize my discount. They had anywhere from Stitcher's 8s to Full Yards. Um, and they were not going to cut. So, like, whatever was listed, you got. And it basically what they did was they posted a picture and they said what they had. And you said, me, please, whatever. And it was first come, first serve. So, I acquired some pretty awesome things to my stash. So, I got, this is a piece of 16 count in Kermit. And this is a quarter. Amazing. Amazing. I'm obsessed with this one. This is a 16 in Fossil. This is a quarter also. Beautiful. Neutral. Neutral dark. Neutral dark. Dark neutral. Neutral dark. Mm -hmm. This one I love. This is kind of a peachy pink. This one was the only one I got in an eight. There were not many eights, um, but I wanted this count. This was an 18 count, and this is an eight, and this is in Murmur, and it's a pretty kind of peachy white. Um, <clears throat> this is an 18 count in Tempest. This is kind of the most modeled one, and it's pretty incredible. Like this, I could see like a mermaid being stitched on or something. Or like a, I don't know what, but it could be kind of cool. Like a, a, a monochrome, a monochrome piece. Um, dwarf, which I believe is what Winter Quakers, Rosewood Manors. This is a really pretty, lightly modeled, not super modeled. Remember we've talked about our Giselle fabric, our super modeled fabric. Um, this is an 18 count quarter in Dwarf. I think this is what Rosewood Manor's Winter Quakers is on, is on Dwarf, I think. But it doesn't look that blue in the mock-up, so I don't know. And then the last one that I got, um, through this batch, I might have gone back and ordered some more later on that are coming, but they're all linens. I'll have those to show hopefully next week, is in Mirage, which I love this. The mock-up photo does not do this one justice at all. Not at all. Um, it's a darker blue-gray, and this is an 18 count in um, a quarter yard. So I'm super pumped about all of those. I got to get in and really work my drawer because with my little bits of linen that my friends are sending me and my even leaves, I gotta make room. And I gotta get that package sent out to my buddy, Miss Michelle. I'm gonna send that to you on Monday. It didn't happen today. I didn't get home until almost five. And then I have a little one who's like, I'm hungry. And then I wanted to unpack, you know, and all that good stuff. Okay, so I got one more thing to share, and then we're going to wrap this up. So I went to, on Friday, yesterday, yesterday, was that yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. We were tooling around, going to have lunch, and I was like, hmm, we're over by San Antonio, we're in San Antonio. We're close to San Antonio to begin with, and I was like, hmm, I wonder where Stitches from the Heart is from here. I've heard good things about them. Hmm. Well, it turned out it was literally two minutes from where we were planning to eat lunch, I said, hey, how'd y'all feel about, like, me getting to, like, run in there for a few minutes? And they're like, that's cool. 
Well, so they basically sat while I shopped, and they helped me with some things, but mostly they sat while I shopped. So I kitted three projects and got another pattern. But I will say, shout out to Stitches from the Heart. If you are kitting a project, we're talking chart, fabric, and floss, they give you a discount. I think that is a genius customer service move. So the chart that I got that I didn't, this was a last minute because I saw it up by the, you know, by the cash wrap. And I'd never seen it before. So this is a Redbird Designs. And Redbird Designs is, um, which is, I don't know, I've never heard of them. That doesn't mean that, I, that anyway, whatever. Um, and this is actually a chart from 2011, so it's not a new chart. And I thought it was so cute. It's called Blue Bonnet Joy. And of course, Joy. And I'm a Texas gal through and through. So we got Blue Bonnets. Blue Bonnet Joy. I hear my husband getting ice. Okay, so then, what do I want to show next? Okay, so then I got the stuff to kit up. Um, this is one of Erica Michaels Petite Collection. This is These Three Remain, and this is uh, Faith. And so this actually comes with the silk gauze, the 40 count silk gauze. And um, I have no interest to stitch yet on silk gauze. So I went ahead and got things to, to um, go ahead and stitch it up. And so I'm going to be stitching this on a 36 count picture of this plus in memory, which I think is insanely beautiful. And then I pulled two different thread works. I don't know which one I'm gonna end up picking. Um, I love this, but I also really like this for a totally different feel. So I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So one of those for Faith. So I got this one, Faith, and then my, my flosses, my thread works, which I'm kind of obsessed with currently. Because I mean, that's genius to sell things as uh, 20 yards. Um, because then you're not concerned about dye lots and things like that. Like that's gonna work for a lot of projects. Not your big full, you know, like, monochrome huge long dogs and things like that but other ones okay so then I have been wanting to do one of the Plum Street trios and I saw Michelle Garrett doing gobble gob and I was like gotta have it this I love tire trio but gobble gob might be my favorite so you've probably seen gobble gob so they had gobble gob and I went ahead and got this is um 32 count oaken and um they had one piece remaining and it's actually double what i need for this so i went ahead because oaken is one that i have been wanting to try because i think it's great neutral went ahead and got the full the double size piece in the event that i want to do another one of these then they could be on the similar background fabric <coughs> excuse me so I went ahead and pulled the flosses. Now I did have to deviate a little bit because they were out of some of them, namely hickory sticks, which I have not been able to find anywhere. Um, and plus I also don't really super love Weeks Dye Works flosses. So I went ahead and um, pulled what was the Weeks Dye Works and recharted or re-picked from either Classic Color Works or Gentle Arts. And so I went ahead and grabbed all the flosses for that and then it calls for Weeks Dye Works white, white wash, which is basically the ones there looked like the B5200. So I was like, you know what? Save money. Yeah, because that's one skein of DMC versus one. Anyway, and I love that they pack it all in a precious little bag, pink bag. And it, they give you, they even, she even wrote gobble gob. She wrote what my fabric was. And then she told me that this one, I actually had an 18 by 27, which is double the amount of it. So I thought that was awesome. And then as I was checking out, she was putting the pattern in with it. So I have everything in one little bag. Now it will get moved into a project bag at some point. And the final one that I did is I saw this and I immediately was drawn to it. A couple of reasons, the Quaker aspects. I love the saying on it. And I've been wanting to do a My Big Toe designs. So I picked, this is Prince of Peace, which is based off of Isaiah 9-6. And so it says, 
he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And it calls for only two colors. And it calls for um, Weathered Barn and Deep Forest. When I pulled those colors, I didn't like how Weathered Barn was almost more brown. And that could just be the one that they had there. So I went ahead and pulled a different one that I liked a little bit more. It's another uh, Gentle Arts. So I will be doing this in Briar Rose and Deep Forest. And I picked an insanely beautiful piece of um, Hand Dyed by Stephanie. No, no, no. Reverse the tape. Because that was a lie. Under the Sea Fabrics, which is Leslie. I knew that. And she is close by. Like, she's a Texas gal. Why am I... I'm sorry, Leslie. I don't know that you even watch these. But I'm sorry. I did not mean to misspeak on your fabric. But this is a beautiful piece called Autumn. Look at how beautiful this is. It's funny because my husband was like, that's beautiful. You need to get more of that. And I was like, are you saying I can buy more fabric? You're awesome. I love you. <laughs> he went, whoa, 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 whoa. But he just said it was a good piece to do things on. So I think that's beautiful. Right? Right. Right. So that's another one. I don't know when they're getting started. I had 14 starts this month, folks. Anyway, so that was fun to go to a different little LNS. I have a great LNS by me. Um, it's about 15 to 20 minutes away. It's called the Stitch Niche. And I love them. And they are fantastic. They do not have a website, they are strictly brick and mortar. You can, however, call and they will ship to you. I know for a fact I've called when I've been stuck in traffic and been like, I don't know if I can get there by you by the time you close. Can you pull this chart and I'll just like give you my credit card over the phone? You can even leave it outside the door. They're amazing. They are fantastic. And they are actually co-sponsoring my very first retreat that I'm going to get to attend in April called Stitching Texas. Um, and so I'm very excited about that. They are going to have a little stitchy booth set up. Okay, so I don't think I have anything else to share other than if you have not watched my Floss Tube number 22 video and you are a subscriber to me, you need to because there are details on a pretty awesome giveaway that I am going to be conducting next week. Um, Floss Tube number 24, I will be announcing the winner. I will pull all comments. Um, I'm saying I'm probably going to cut it off about in the afternoon time of Friday so I can get everybody like put on a spreadsheet and then I will live not live but like on my video I will random number generate who wins the giveaway so if you have not watched floss to member 22 please go watch it um, it has details on how you enter the giveaway I'm not going to share them here sorry um, if you are truly one of my folks who I would love to have win, meaning you subscribe, you watch, you enjoy what what I have to say, what I have, what I'm about. Um, that would be awesome. I did not say in my last video, but I I will be looking to see if you are one of my subscribers because I think it's only fair because I've had some folks that have watched me since day one. They were like subscriber number one. Um, that I would, you know, I I want them to have. Now, that does not mean that if you subscribed last week that you don't have equal opportunity. No, because every single person is amazing. That being said, if you, you know, type your little comment, but you're not, um, I don't know. I don't even know if you can tell if somebody's your subscriber. So I may be talking completely nonsense. I don't know. My voice is, is starting to get even worse, which means I need to hush because this is an hour and 18 minutes. And I'll be lucky with my Wi-Fi being as wonky as it has been if this is uploaded before tomorrow morning. Anyway, guys, I hope you hung in here through this very long, rambly Saturday video with me. I will be back next week on Friday as usual, um, barring any other reasons why I wouldn't be. Um, now I have some cleanup to do so I can go to bed because Mama be tired. It is already 9.19 here. And I've had two late nights, two four-hour drives, and... I got a day full of laundry tomorrow. Laundry and groceries. Although I picked it. I did order pick up. I, I, I did it this time. So with that guys. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, full of awesome stitching. And I will look forward to seeing you next Friday. So with that I'm going to say bye guys. Good night and have a good one. Bye.